how to pronounce and precisely transcribe voiceless velar, uvular, and lingual fricatives in the IPA. The voiceless velar fricative, ha, is a sound often transcribed by linguists. It is defined as being pronounced at the velum, which you can see in the top right corner. To get a feeling for this place of articulation, compare velar approximants such as wa and their corresponding full vowels such as u, as well as plosives such as ka that are also pronounced at the velum. The voiceless velar fricative exists in languages such as Greek and Slavic languages. You may have already noticed that some linguists transcribe the following sound as a velar fricative, ha. However, what I pronounced was not a velar fricative but a uvular fricative because I constricted the airflow at the uvula. You can see the difference in articulation in the top right corner. To get a feeling for this place of articulation, you can compare the consonants ra and ra. And it may also be helpful to compare the tongue height to vowels such as e and o. You may also have noticed that some linguists transcribe the sound ha as a voiceless uvular fricative. So let us take a closer look at the uvula. The sound ha is not a pure fricative, but a voiceless trill with some friction to it. Compare the trill ha to the voiced ra. This sound is common in languages such as German and Dutch. It is also possible to retract the tongue below the uvula, in which case you produce a pharyngeal fricative, ha. You may be extra precise and call this, the one you pronounce with your tongue, a lingual pharyngeal fricative. If you're not sure if the sound you hear or pronounce is a pharyngeal fricative. You may compare it to the vowel ah. From the position of ah, retract your tongue as much as you can, and your tongue root will approach your pharynx to the point of friction. Now you can be sure that you're pronouncing a pharyngeal fricative. You may not be surprised that pharyngeal fricatives are common to Semitic languages such as Arabic. Compare the word hal. I hope you found this video helpful and that it could shed some light on the definitions in the IPA as well as some common usages of IPA characters. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.